Hi, just a brief tutorial today on how to do I-cord on a circular sock knitting machine. Um, there's a couple things. One is um, I, I'm doing a couple things special today. One is I'm doing four stitches of I-cord, or hopefully will be, and um, I'm doing it with a worsted weight yarn on a, a rather fine gauge cylinder. So um, there's a couple things that I need to do on my machine to get it set up. So first of all, I've set the tensioning, uh, the, the stitch length um, to be very long because I want to make sure that it's going to be able to accommodate the worsted weight yarn that I'm going to try to use to make this eye cord. Second of all, I'm using four needles. I, I want a kind of a sturdy eye cord, so I wanted four stitches in my eye cord. So if those of you who don't know, I cord is simply a tube, a circular tube of knitting, but it's only uh, a few different stitches. So instead of a sock, I, I'm getting four, uh, a four stitch tube in essence. Um, so I set up four needles, but I set them up every other slot. So they're not, they're not directly next to each other. Um, the other thing I need to do is uh, my um, yarn feeder actually has a slot in the top uh, and this particular action brings the yarn around uh, quite quickly and so I need to make sure that I don't uh, let the yarn slip out of that yarn slot when I'm going around doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually tie a little bit of yarn around the top of my yarn feeder so that it can still run through but it won't slip out of the the slot at the top. And I just need to snip off these ends to make sure it doesn't get in the way. So basically what I've done is I've set up my um, cast on bonnet which I use, I just use one of those unraveled uh, scrungies for the, for the shower and I've set a weight, uh, a weight underneath and I've set my worsted weight yarn. The only other thing you have to do for I-cord is you need to make sure that your tensioner is on. Now in order to have my tensioner on, I also need to make sure that um, I hold my yarn before it starts to knit underneath. So I've got my yarn tensioning on, four needles every other slot on. So let's see how this goes. So my first one, I want to make sure it catches every needle. It did. And so what you notice is that as it goes completely around, it starts on the same same needle every time as it starts to to knit. And for some reason this tensioning And then once it's set up all I have to do is just knit on those four needles over and over and over again. And you'll see my eye cord actually started coming on the bottom. So I'm going to take the tension off that for a second. And I want to take a look to see whether it's the correct density of, of fabric that I wanted for my eye cord. And it seems pretty good. Even for worsted weight yarn, it's a pretty loose, um, loose gauge of fabric. And that's pretty much all I do. So again, you set it up with, in my case, four needles. You could do it on three needles. Um, they're every other cylinder so that it actually gives a little bit of space in between the, the stitches. Um, if you have an open slotted yarn feeder up here, you need to make sure that it's somehow it's your yarn, your working yarn stays in there. So I just tied a, a loose piece of cotton yarn around that so that it uh, so that it could still flow through the yarn feeder, but it didn't pop out that slot. And also making sure you have your sock and heel tensioning uh, on to do it. And other than that, it's good to go. And so you can see. Actually, I think I'll just pop this off and we can show you. So what you see is 
nice healthy piece of I-cord that gets created very quickly and automatically. Now I know there are a lot of machines out there that do this for you, um, but since I already had one of those machines that actually does it for me, I could actually just use that instead. I'm quite pleased with the result.